Hello, I'm Landis, and this is Subnautica. In this guide, I'll be showing you one location for both nickel ore and crystalline sulfur. We'll also be passing an area that's good for collecting uranite, should you need that as well. We will be taking the Cyclops, which I do recommend. Just head inside quickly. We're going to want to head one or two pips in from the west about a thousand meters you want to keep west on the left side otherwise you'll end up going a long way in the wrong direction I'm going to stop and change the camera make it a little bit easier now you won't need your radiation suit for this but I would definitely suggest bringing along the prawn suit with a drill arm and no other attachment in the other arm. The reason you don't want another attachment is because you can pick up things when you have an empty arm. We are aiming for the blood kelp forest which will give us entrance to the Lost River. There's very little danger on the way there and once we arrive in the Lost River it's not too bad. The ghost rays are harmless. There's toxic water you're going to want to avoid. There is also a ghost leviathan. And we are here. So once you arrive here, what you want to do is follow the cave around. What I'm going to do is wait here until daytime, so it should be slightly easier for you guys to see. Okay, we're back. So, as you can see, we're still at the start of the Blood Kelp Forest. What we're going to want to do is follow it round. Once you reach this part where it splits off in two directions, we're going to want to head round to the right. We keep following this till we reach the end can see here. Now from here we're going to want to start to go down. Quite hard to see. Okay. Once you reach what looks like the bottom do is just head out take a look at your depth we've landed on one of the ledges as we want to be around 500 to 550 down so I'm going to do quickly just turn on the lights so we can get a better view Let's see if we can't find our way down This can be a nightmare to navigate. Right. There we go. As you can see the ledge drops down a bit further there. A good indication you're going the right way is you will start to see more and more lights appearing on the cave walls. And you will know you have arrived when everything starts to turn green and you can see a funny looking skull. 
You look to the right, as mentioned earlier, there is a lot of uranite lying around on the walls of the cave system we try to enter through here. But the main thing we come for is down here. We head to about here. Those things you can see swimming in the distance are ghost rays, and they are friendly enough. See one right there. Engine powering down. Right. Now we're going to want to get into our prawn soup. you down. Green stuff is poisonous. It will damage your Seamoth. It will damage you should you be in there without any protection. And just here you can see some nickel ore lying on the floor, which you can pick up using the prawn suit provided you don't have a special arm attachment. Now, by far the easiest way to get anything in this place is to nip into the green goo. You can see here, once the cuttlefish gets out of the way, some crystalline sulfur. And as we slide our way further in, find tons and tons. And you don't keep missing like me. Of crystalline sulfur. And just over here, easiest way to get the nickel ore. And the reason why we brought the drill arm. Everything you pick up here will be added to the vehicle storage and not your personal inventory. So even though you can find nickel ore on the surface, in very small quantities. It's definitely worth coming down here with an upgraded prawn to grab the notes. Did you attempt to enter the green water without the prawn suit, you will start taking damage quite rapidly. And the Seamoth will take damage as well. Careful when exploring too far into the system, as there is a Ghost Reaper not that much further in. And just in case you're wondering, everything you pick up with the prawn suit will end up back here. in a 4x6 container, giving you 24 slots to fill up on. You can, once you've finished, collecting everything you can carry in the prawn suit, come out and collect it, and then nip back up and store it in your Cyclops and go again. Yeah. If you found this video helpful, then leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and why not subscribe and check out the rest of the channel. And if there's anything you'd like to see, why not leave a comment and let me know. I've been Landis. This has been Subnautica. Thank you very much, and see you soon.